morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to a cloudy overcast Winnipeg. Okay, I made a bit of a mistake yesterday or it wasn't really my fault. Okay, I, I was going by the U.S. Postal Service's uh, tracking and uh, and, and when when that first, when they when Corey first sent me the tracking number, I tried to bring it up in the Canada Post website, and they kept telling me that it, that they there was they had no record of it or something like that. So I tried it again yesterday, and it it turns out that now Canada Post will recognize that particular uh, tracking number. And uh, the latest is, it has left Toronto, or it says Mississauga. Well, Mississauga is part, is like part of Toronto. Uh, it's what we call the the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area. And uh, even though Mississauga is its own little city, anyway, uh, <clears throat> it has left the GTA, and I I am assuming because I checked again earlier this morning uh, and that's what you're looking at right now is the very the very latest and uh, it's probably going to get delivered and bottom line is it's going to be delivered on Monday it's probably going to end up here in Winnipeg today but because there's <clears throat> there's no postal uh, delivery uh, Saturday or Sunday uh, yeah it'll be here Monday so uh, uh, I kind of I kind of misled you in, into thinking that um, it might come yesterday afternoon. Well, that's the information I got. They just they just said uh, something to the effect of uh, a location in Canada. Well, <laughs> that's that's pretty vague. Uh, whereas now I think we're probably going to actually see the word Winnipeg show up in the tracking when it when it gets here. Okay, enough about that. We are going to try and get step 42 finished today. We got that difficult ladder done. Now we do have some more photo etch to do here. We've got a, a, a we've got a ladder that has to go down. Uh, it's a, it's a photo etch G20, but it looks like there's only oh no, it says both sides. Okay, so there's two of them. And then there's a little railing that has to go around the the top of it so that people don't fall into it when they're walking around. Um, well, where where does that go anyway? Well, we'll okay. I, I can sort of see where it has to go here. We'll we'll, we'll uh, recompose and uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get those ladders and that railing quickly. Uh, I'm not going to make a big deal about it. Uh, Maybe I'll just quickly paint them too, and uh, uh, oh, and then there's some other stuff that we have to put on these R four R R twenty H thirty one some sort of wonder what those are. Maybe maybe I can find them in Stefan's book. They're they're tall skinny things like some sort of aerials or something. It, uh, anyway, we'll, 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 maybe we'll do that. We'll, we'll check out what they are in Stefan's book. Uh, oh, yeah, are more R20s here on the back. Okay, enough, uh, enough, uh, trying to make up my mind here on camera. <laughs> let's, let's get at it here. Well, so much for getting step 42 done today. Uh, what do we got here? 10 minutes after 1, and I have been kind of busy ever since first thing this morning. And I've got all our photo etch pieces painted. I used a brush. Maybe I'll put the uh, macro lens on and we'll take a bit of a close look. Uh, I've got these these things which I believe are some sort of antennas. I still haven't looked them up in the uh, in Stefan's book yet to see what they are. Maybe we'll go do that afterwards. Um, <clears throat> yeah, things are are going really slow here. <clears throat> Excuse me. A, a few uh, moments ago, I did check the tracking for the package, 
and uh, Corey's package is now left Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay is uh, probably a little better than halfway between Toronto and Winnipeg. So obviously it's coming by truck. Um, I imagine that uh, it will be here this, this late this afternoon or this evening. But of course, as I mentioned, there's no mail delivery on Saturday or Sunday, so that's that's why it's uh, scheduled for Monday. Enough about that. <clears throat> this thing here, when I when I uh, I made a mistake on it, uh, after I glued it together. Uh, I, f I forgot to uh, trim the flashing off this off the seams so uh, and and this piece here goes right in here in this in this hole over here and then one of those radar turrets sits on top of it said so the same as is like right here uh, I don't see anywhere in the manual where it tells you to make this part all it told me was to make make uh, uh, two of these. Now, is is this one maybe, you know, it, it could be that this one is, uh, oh well, it doesn't matter. It, this, this one here almost looks taller than this one, so there might be a slight difference. But this was all there was left on, on the sprue. Uh, now there's nothing left on the sprue. <laughs> yeah, we, we emptied out the sprue. I think it was the L sprue, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so another one we can hang up on the wall. Uh, I, I painted uh, all this stuff with the 66. Let me slip the macro lens on here and, and we'll move in and take a nice close look at this stuff. Okay, these uh, little hatch covers, the C38s, uh, they go on the side of the superstructure. And I will probably be using the wax pencil to apply those. And uh, when, in in order to paint the railings, in fact, all of this stuff I held it, I just held it in tweezers. And you're probably going to notice that, for instance, on on this one right here, you can see where the where the photo etch is showing through there. Well, that's where the tweezer was, and it probably probably the same on on this one right here. You can see. Well, that doesn't matter because that. I'll have that rail down on the deck and the deck is probably going to have to get repainted with the with the 77 anyway. Oh, by the way, this is all the 6 this is all 66 paint, okay? And I concluded that this this uh tread right here uh, in this area will not be seen. So I grabbed on to grab grab the uh ladder with the tweezer right here. And and the same thing and on on this, you know, I'm going to end up losing these things yet. Okay, I grabbed I grabbed this one right around here, and uh, yeah, it's uh, I think they came up pretty good considering I I just brushed them I didn't spray them so. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, Let's go check uh, Stefan's book and see if we can figure out what those things that I think are ant antennas are. Okay, here we're at the beginning, you might say, of the uh, uh, 3D drawings. And there should be stuff sticking up, but he hasn't got it drawn in there. I'm not seeing anything here. Unless I'm unless it's it's there and I'm just not seeing it. But I'm I'm not seeing it. Well here's here's something here, but I, I believe that's a I believe that's the jack stand. Um Yeah, we we should be seeing stuff Oh wait a minute! Here, here's something. Here is something. It's just, it's just that it's so thin, you can barely see it. Okay, it looks like it's some sort of like a whip antenna. Let's see if I can find anything better. Okay, here we, here we are looking aft. If there's anything there, I don't see it. 
All right, here here is, or is that maybe a a line? No, it looks like it looks like there's something here, and there's something right here, and I I vaguely recall something in the in the manual that indicates we have to put something like that there. Okay, uh, at first there I didn't think there was anything, but. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that's that's the uh that's the jack stand. All right, here here is some stuff sticking up unless that is I don't think that's supposed to be uh, rigging. I think that, because it sort of seems to taper. And here, here's another one going straight up. Okay, obviously this is the, uh, at least I'm assuming it's obvious, the Ensign flag stuff. Okay, I think that's it for the 3D drawings. And we get a lot of line art. Um, and then it's so far back. I'm not seeing anything sticking up here. Unless something like this right here. I'm not sure. Anyway, I think they are supposed to be antenna. Like whip antennas or something like that. If anybody knows for sure. Uh, some, some of you viewers have actually... Uh, uh, served on a ship similar to this. So, uh, and I think Corey has been twice on the Iowa, so uh, maybe he remembers seeing these and will remember what they what they are. Now, of course, the Iowa may not have those anymore. This, we're, we're making, uh, um, our model is sort of uh, a 1943 version of what the Iowa was. Anyway, we, we tried. Okay, I quit looking too soon. If we look at this drawing right here, uh, you can see one of those antennas. It stops right here. It's definitely it's definitely not a uh, guy guy wire. All right, and it seems to me we will be putting one on in a place like this, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be putting one right here. You can't see the top of it, but you can see the base of it. Uh, the the uh, ladder that, that we worked on this morning was actually this one right here, as near as I can tell. It was this one right here. And uh, that barbette that I was talking about, I believe it's this right here. And unless, unless I'm on the stern of the ship here, but I'm pretty sure this is the... Yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure this is the bow. Uh, so, uh, okay. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's decided. These are some sort of an antenna. Uh, that's all they can possibly be. Okay, I'm sort of very carefully reaching over the hoops. And I suppose it would be better if I was to use my fingers on this, but... Is this going to be a friction fit, or what's going to happen here? There we go. I may not need glue. Why, why glue it and make a mess on the deck if you don't need to, right? Yeah, I think that's that's all the way down. I think it's as far as it can go. It's sitting on the on the deck below. So, okay. You know what? I've got a coffee visitor coming in just a little over an hour, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to call her quits here today. Thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.